These are randomly generated NHL players and I will be selecting 20 of them to build a team. For today's challenge, I will only be able to see the career plus minus of each player. After all the choices have been made, we will assemble the team on NHL 24 and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. I feel kind of out of it this morning. Editing this should be fun. Let's get after it. First up, we have a dash 30 and then a minus three and a plus two. See, what if the player that's 30 under par is actually nasty? Their team is just cheeks, you know? Let's kick things off with a little risk for the bisque. We're going in the middle, dash three. You know what though? That's kind of interesting. I'm down with that. Wow, that's a big one. And then we have another big one on the right. So we have 62 and 40. And I'm gonna go safe this time and go for 62. 62. That is actually shocking. Backland is a plus 62? And Coleman's a plus 40? All right, I mean, yeah, there we go. We have a very interesting start to this team. 201. No, we have to go with them. There's no other option here. I don't really know what to do about this one. We got Pavelski, which is awesome, but he did retire, and I'm not sure if the custom roster is gonna put him at like 70 overall because of that. So what I'm gonna do is put him down as part of the team. I will draft another forward provisionally, and if he is 70 overall and retired, then we'll take that player. If he's still 88 or 87, whatever his overall is, then we'll add him to the team instead. Plus 201 is actually crazy. This time we get a plus plus Morgan Riley. And on top of that, we will be taking this player. I don't know about you guys, but I personally love to see it. We get Mika Zibanejad added to the team. That is massive. Here we go. Ooh, not a good start. A lot of negatives going on here. Is it wild that I want to take the dash 74 just to see who it is? I mean, I'll find out anyway, but yeah, I can't lie to you. I know we're probably shooting ourselves in the foot here, but they've piqued my interest. We're going with the card on the right. I have no idea what his overall is, but I'm okay with getting Jonathan Drewen. Obviously, Kadri is probably the highest overall, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles. And let's be real. If I didn't go with 74, I was going to go with 31. So Nas was kind of out no matter what. Just looking at our roster, the team is pretty interesting so far we have 47 51 and then 10 under i'm going back to safe let's take the player that is plus 51 we get none other than brandon sod am i crazy have we not got him in like three of the last five next up 85 7 and minus 18 we're going to the left 85. Couldn't really miss here. We get three very solid players, but J-Rob is going to be the highest overall. Another player I feel like we get all the time. Plus 51 is going to be not the player we select because we're going with plus 31. Ha! Gotcha. Well, it's a good thing I didn't go with 51 because we have that new thing in place where if I draft the same player twice, we have a punishment, have to put like a 70 overall player in their place, but we did miss out on Nico Heischer. Connor Garland is all right, though. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I didn't want Nico. Obviously, I did. Give me something wacky crazy. I have to go with 72, just because that is such a cool number. That will work. We take, though. Sean Couturier added to the squadron. We missed out on Seth and Philippe Dano. Again, couldn't really miss here. I don't even know how many forwards we've drafted, but we are going to add another forward here that has a career plus minus of 28. Hmm. Maybe not the best option, but he should be low 80s, right? I feel like allergies bugging me too. This video is going to be a disaster. Going with the dash 41. He actually might be the highest overall player because Evangelista sort of new around the scene. Same with Marco, but we get Bjorkstrand. This would have been our last forward, but because of the whole paths thing, we will draft one more. Again, provisionally, plus 26 is where we're going. That would have been a good time to go off course because Evander Kane is actually minus 50, which is very surprising to me, but we get Sherwood in the middle. Let's find out who we are going to possibly be adding to the team. I was gonna go with 62, but for some reason, 5-2 is calling my name. Not the strongest round, kind of hoping that Pavelski is still at Mangiapane's jersey number in overall. Also, welcome to the Capitals, Andrew. It is time to scoopity doop some defenders. We have two very good ones and a not so good one. Don't really want to get risky off the bat. I am personally going to go with the player on the left. What a start. Let's go. We get Josh Norrissey plus 63. Pulak would have been cool. Fire me north. What a great way to start off the decor. So definitely not going with the minus four. We have to go with 86. Yeah, you know what? I want to try to win another cup here. Come on. Give me 86. Lads, we've done it. 
We've actually done it. John Carlson is a plus 86 in his career, and he's also nasty. I'm pretty sure John Carlson is right-handed. I am not sure what handedness Morrissey is, but for some reason, my instinct is telling me left. Those two paired together is going to be illegal. What a round. I like how it's in order too, you know, it incrementally gets higher. Strangely enough, I'm going with the card in the middle. I'm not gonna say I regret that, but you know, just off of the speech I gave moments ago about wanting to win a Stanley Cup, probably shouldn't have done that. Halfway through the defensive core, and this time we get an easy selection with 56. We got two players that wear the jersey number eight, Truba and Burns, but we scored ourselves Jacob Truba. Not a great start, okay. Hmm. Well, we had that really good round. I guess we were due for a stinker. We just got someone that wears the jersey number eight. Ovi also wears the jersey number eight. And there is an eight right in front of us. Let's go. That's actually crazy. He also wears the jersey number eight. Zach Wierenski is joining our team. This is kind of a weird one. Normally... Our defense are completely overshadowed by our offense, but not really this time. I mean, we do have some stars up front, but I feel like our defense are stellar. I will be obtaining the card on the right. No, we miss out on Luke Hughes again. Vakaninen was in the middle and we got Johnson from the Sabres. For goaltenders, we get save percentage. Oh, that's huge. But it could be a small sample size. That's the thing. You just don't know. The 905... Could be over 2,000 games, whereas the 919 could be two. Well, gotta take that risk. We're going with the card on the right. Boys, let's go! We get Jeremy Swayman. That is an awesome goaltender. Our back end of this team is dirty. Should probably wipe or use a bidet or something. Who's gonna be our backup goaltender? There's no way we get someone... I'm not falling for that. We're going with the card on the left. We did in fact get Swayman two times in a row. Probably should have gone with the card in the middle. Felt a little bit risky. Didn't pay off. Let's go assemble this team on National Hockey League 24 and see if we can win a Stanley Cup. We have landed on NHL 24 and the Denver Dragons are in custom division 3 at 94 overall. No injuries, so unnecessary, but I'm still gonna do it. Jabroni, no thank you. When I was just going through the settings there, I saw the auto-rotate goalie setting and that kind of reminds me, I guess there was a game. I can't recall which one it was, but I'm pretty sure you had to rotate the goalies, otherwise the one would get fatigued. So you'd have to stop the simulation, go back, swap the goalie, even just for one game, or I think it maybe had to be two. To depending on how fatigued they were. Fun times. We did end up getting Joe Pavelski, which gives that first line a plus five. Huge. Our second line consists of Benson, Couturier, and Bjorkstrand. They all have abilities, which is nice and obviously helps with that plus one. And our depth on offense is also pretty solid. Defensively, we got a bit of an issue here because this guy does not seem to want to pair with anybody. I could do this. I'm probably going to do this. I'm quite shocked that this is only a plus one. In net, Swayman will be tending the goal with Cal backing him up at 76 overall. I'm going to lay down the prediction of J-Rob getting the most points at 90. 91, and our squadron obtaining 49 wins. Not the best start in the world, but it's okay. You know, slow start, but we will pick up the pace. We're like a train. Unless I was missing anyone, we do have the highest overall team in the league, but it's not by a crazy amount, like one, maybe two. We've certainly picked up the pace a little bit here. The team is starting to come together. Uh-oh, the Smashville Predators fire Corbin Eaton. Can't lie to you right now, our coach is a B, so absolutely getting rid of this guy and going after the A- minus coach that they just canned. I'm not gonna put all the blame on the coach, but I feel like we should be doing a little bit better. There we go. How many wins are we gonna have at the trade deadline? That's the golden question. 39 is your answer. I'm not even gonna enter the trade deadline. Screw it. Go ahead. Tell me about your blockbuster trades. Sorry, voice giving up on me a little bit here. No trades to announce again. Clearly that is just a thing of the past. Or it only happens when we do fantasy drafts, I suppose. We can no longer achieve 49 wins, but we can get 45 if we stop sucking. There it is. We were so close to missing the playoffs. Tampa Bay was one point behind us. How did we only get 93? The President's Trophy belongs to the Flow Rider Panthers. They got 113 points, and we finished in 12th in the entire league. The 19th placed Bensonless Sabres. Get into the playoffs. In what world do we produce this little offense? 
66 points was our best. Really? Jason Robertson at 58. We are absolutely shuffling the lines up because this is unacceptable. Jeremy did pretty good. He had a 912 save percentage, a 280 GAA, 39 wins. Cal, not so much. Even though they're only a plus one, they did quite well together. Wierenski had 23 and it just drops off quick. Swayman actually tied for most wins with Aiden Hill, but Aiden Hill did it in seven less games. He also had a 914 save percentage, a 264 GAA. I see Allmark down here with a 912 and a 918 for Igor. No surprise here. Kale McCarr leads defenseman. He had 93 points. We get 88 from Quinn Hughes. Fox had 87 and Doughty 85. Once again, Matthews is going to completely rinse the award ceremony 71 goals 122 points art heart rocket richard i think i'm gonna run this we're gonna have couturier as the first line center mika zibanejad can be on the left side and then j rob could be on the right they are both snipers, which obviously isn't ideal, but maybe moving a pure centerman and Couturier up there two way forward, he can get them the puck and Pavelski can help boost the second line. The defensive chemistry is off the charts now with this new coach. It wasn't a fantasy draft. There was no blockbuster trade. So we're just going to straight up sim first three games. Everybody knows the rules. Let's see how we do against the Edmonton Oilers. Are you kidding me? All right, Jabroni, I'll bite. Let's go with best lines. See if you know what's good. Carlo and Morrissey do get a plus five and then we get a plus three with these two. We need to win the next four straight. Can we do it? Probably not. There we go. That's a good start. No, we're done. What a disgrace. We don't have words and we know you don't want to hear them. What a dominant season. Florida wins the President's Trophy. They win the Stanley Cup. Calder goes to Hartford. I don't know if our team was lacking a playmaker or something, but whatever it was. We did not gel. John Carlson was a dash six. Awesome. Approximately zero blame can be put on Swayman because he did well in the season and in the playoffs. Bobrovsky played out of his mind. He had a 930 save percentage, 229 GAA. Shesterkin played well. Stewie had nearly a 930. Montembeau, 924. Good run from what does the Fox say? 17 points in 21 games. Gustav had 16 in 23 games though. Morgan Riley, 13, was a minus nine. That was rude of me. I don't know why I felt the need to point that out. Your Con Smythe winner. Sasha Barkov, 27 points in 23 games played. Reinhardt had just two less. Matthew simulating like an absolute machine. Actually, he had the same amount of points as McDavid but he had nine more goals. Austin did get both the art and the heart. We have the Norris going to Kale McCarr, understandable. Matthews is also awarded the Lady Bang. The Calder goes to Bedsy. Barkov did get the Con Smythe, as I suspected. Shesterkin with the Vesna, but Aiden Hill gets the Jennings along with Samsonov or Samsonov. I'm not really sure. I've heard both. You know what I mean? Gudis awarded the Bill Masterton. Lion gets the Jack Adams. Sydney the Kidney. Selkie winner. And then we've got Poppy with the Ted Lindsay and the Rocket Richard. Here's your playoff tree. Although it felt like we had a good team for some reason, they didn't click and it's just gonna be like that. But you know what? That was a fun draft regardless. I'm still trying to figure out how to get the website to have the stats. Well, thank you for watching. If you could leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you could subscribe, that'd be even greatly appreciated. On that note, I'll see you soon.